morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Instagram. Good morning, Facebook. Hi, good morning, Chris. Good morning, Jen Cashel. Good morning, good morning, good morning, Kristen. Um, it's my first time, so bear with me, friends. Good morning, Mike. Good morning, Lucia. Good morning, everyone. Glond Wolf, good morning. Good morning, Naeem. Hi, Lucia. Como estas? How are you? How are you? Wait for um, some more people to get on. Good morning, Lals. How's it going? Hope my lighting is good. <laughs> Hope you guys can see me. <laughs> I know Instagram can see me. Facebook. I'm kind of going in and out. Um, morning. Give everybody a couple minutes um, to log on. Good morning. Good morning. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Dominique. Um, go, uh, Facebook. Good morning, Colleen. Uh, it's your first time too. Yay! First timers. <laughs> Um, my name is Dominique. I am a staff member at Mosaic. Um, I am the children's director, so I get the opportunity to pour into our families and our kids. So yay. Good morning, Cindy. How's it going? Um, so excited to be here. It's my first one. Um, yeah, we'll give everybody a couple more minutes before we begin. If this is your first time joining us this morning on Morning Breath, um, we like to take time on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays to just kind of dive into <clears throat> the scripture. Um, so we're so glad that you're here if this is your very first time. What am I doing today, Kristen? I am talking about mercy today, but yeah, it's a pretty fun day. I'm going to be teaching my daughter <laughs> After I'm done with this, what are you guys doing? What are you, what are you up to this Wednesday? What are your plans for today? It's not raining, so that's good. That is good. Um, Vinny says I'm next to Naeem right now at the church. He has had, <laughs> he has actual morning breath. Naeem, you know what you need to do with that. Um, <laughs> Um, but for those of you, we like to just take time to pour life into you and also to dive a little bit more into um, the scriptures, the, summer, the sermons that we did this past Sunday. Lows, you're getting ready for bed. Oh, hope that you have a great night. Um, Jen is filling orders for CB. Cindy's working. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. How's everybody's week so far? We're almost to the weekend. We're almost done with this week. How are we doing? Are we excited? Do we have any plans for the rest of this week or for this weekend? I know for my mamas out there, on behalf of M Kids, we love you all and we're praying and we cannot wait to see you all soon. So all the parents who are homeschooling and working and balancing everything, you've got this. You got this. You can do it. You can do it. Sound like Adam Sandler on The Water Boy. You can do it. Hi, Sean. Good morning. Good morning, Sean. Thanks for joining. All right, we're going to jump right in. So, good morning. Brittany says she has a long weekend going to visit her parents at the beach. Ooh, fun. I want to be at the beach too. All right. So good morning. Today is our morning breath and I am going to dive into what Naeem talked about on Sunday. Naeem talked about goodness, which is the fruits of the spirit. Um, he reminded us that we want to do good instead of being good. Um, so he mentioned Micah 6, 8, um, 
And it just reminds us on what is good and what God requires us to do. Um, and God requires us to act justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly. Ashley did a morning breath Monday, and she talked about act justly. So today, I am going to talk about love mercy. What is that? What does that mean? What does that look like? Good morning, Danielle. So glad that you're joining us this morning. So my question to you is what do you think mercy means? What do you think mercy? How do you think? What, it, what is it to you? Um, let me know in the comments. What do you think mercy means? Some say it's faithfulness. Some say it's grace. But what do you think mercy means? What does mercy look like to you? Let me know what you think. What is mercy? What is mercy? What does mercy look like? Um, so I had a conversation with Google last night. <laughs> and the definition of mercy is compassion. It is forgiveness um, shown toward someone whom is within one's power to punish or harm. Definition, compassion, forgiveness shown toward someone whom it is within one's power to punish or harm. Not getting what I deserve. That's right. That's right. Um, so have you ever thought about mercy being compassionate or forgiveness? Yes, Lyle's undeserving love. That's right. Welcome, J-R-O-B-T-04. Thank you for joining us. Um, have you ever thought that mercy was compassion or forgiveness? Um, it struck me, Naeem spoke about this on Sunday, um, that sometimes it is punishment um, that we may have towards someone. And, you know, that looks like avoiding someone, that looks like harming someone, um, being distant, being, you know, being neglectful, being withholding. And friends, that's, I don't think that's what God wants us to do. I don't think God wants us to punish someone. I don't think God wants us to be bonded, bonded up like that. I don't think he would, I don't think we're acting like him when we feel like we are punishing someone by avoiding them or becoming distant or neglecting them or withholding them. Um, I don't think these things come from God. Um, the main things that, you know, Naeem talked about is that we are to act like God instead of talking like him, that we are to be good instead of doing good. And that showing punishment or um, avoiding someone, that's not of God. Um, our God doesn't want us to do that. Um, in Jeremiah 31, this chapter talks about God's relationship with people. And verse three in the CSB translation um, that I like, um, Israel went to find rest. The Lord appeared to him from a far way. The Lord said, I have loved you with an everlasting love. Therefore, I have continued to extend faithful, or in this case, mercy love to you. Wow. I have extended faithful love to you. Friends, mercy will cost us comfort. It will cost us time. It will cause us money, status, and sometimes it will give us heartbreak. But we are to remind ourselves that God had mercy for us, which cost Jesus life. So God wants us to have compassion. God wants us to find forgiveness so we can be able to do those things. We can be able to act like God and we can be able to do good. Do you find it hard to have mercy on yourself? Do you find it hard to have mercy on yourself? Or do you find it hard to extend mercy out to other people? Sometimes it can be hard to extend mercy out to other people when we feel like we can't have mercy for ourselves. Um, or sometimes it's easy to extend mercy um, to ourselves, but not to other people or to extend mercy out to people, but not to ourselves. So is that hard for you? Is that hard to do? Um, as followers of Jesus, the command to love, the command to love mercy reveals God's heart. The command to love mercy reveals God's heart. Like I said, the definition is compassion. It is forgiveness. So when we love mercy and we, when we think about mercy as compassion and forgiveness, we are revealing God's heart. So, so good, right? So a little side story. I remember that um, I had to extend mercy out to a family member of mine that I chose to not talk to for five plus years. 
Um, and I, it was called, God called me to act like him. God called me to do good um, and to be freed from that. Mercy is kind of like freedom. Um, it's kind of like being set free. And so I extended mercy. I extended I extended that compassion. I extended that forgiveness to this person that I have not spoken to in five plus years. And friends, it was freedom. I felt like chains were being, chains were falling down. I felt like I was released because I set myself aside. I set my pride aside and I was obedient and wanted to act like my God who has sacrificed so much he shown us mercy so we can be able to extend mercy out to other people. Friends, we have to remember sometimes that Jesus took the penalty. He took the penalty. He took the punishment on behalf of us, on behalf of us. Um, that's right, Kristen, reveals God's heart. Um, yes, Chris, I know I did this and I was like, whoa, blown away. Um, but yes, we, we have to remind ourselves that even though it's so hard to one, extend mercy on ourselves, but two, it's super hard to extend mercy out to other people, to our families, to our friends, to our coworkers, but friends, Jesus did it. God gave us mercy and it cost his son's life. So we have to be reminded of that. So here's some key things for us to remember. Mercy fuels compassion. Mercy fuels compassion. Hi, Sarah, good morning. It provides promising glimpse of light in a dark world. Mercy fuels compassion that it provides glimpse of light in a dark world. Friends, when we choose mercy, we choose to be set free. We choose to feel lighter. When we choose to give others a chance, we are allowing God to be reflected in us, within us. Um, I love being a part of our children's ministry and being able to teach this to our kids. Uh, we are able to remind our next generation, our next leaders, that we are being a reflection of God. We are created in him and for them to know who God is. And so friends, we have to do that. As adults, we have to be reminded um, that we have to allow God to be reflected within us um, by actions, by words, by the things that we do. So, so important that we are creating um, an example for our kids. So my question to you is, how are you going to do that today, the rest of this week, as we go into the weekend? How are you going to extend mercy either to yourself or to other people? What will it look like when we are facing insults, if we choose to not retaliate? What will it look like if we forgive someone instead of holding grudges? What will it look like if we just reach out to someone who is lonely? What if, if we, what if we can do things without expecting anything in return? What will that look like if we're able to love, have mercy, and to be reminded that it is filled with compassion and forgiveness? What will it look like? If we did those things, if we if we forgive others, if we don't retali retaliate, if we don't hold grudges, if we don't become distant, um, if we don't if we don't withhold something, what will it look like? Yes, yes, Sarah, smile. You can be the only smile a stranger sees today. Absolutely right. That is my challenge. What will it look like for you guys today? So if you're already doing those things, you're already on the right path. Just humble, your, humble yourself and be reminded. But if you're not doing these things and it is a challenge to you, um, ask God, what, what would that look like? Ask God, what, the, what would that look like? So I'm going to end in prayer. And I hope that you would join us this upcoming Sunday. 
So Father God, we thank you for this morning, God. We thank you for reminding us what mercy looks like, God, and that mercy is filled with your love. Mercy is filled with your compassion and your forgiveness, God, and that when we extend mercy out to others, we are reflecting your love, God. You are allowing us to be your hands and feet, God. These requirements that you are asking of us is, is pretty much us being more like you, God. And so we pray that you would just give us the strength to be able to do that the rest of this week, God, that you would just remind us um, to have mercy, God, and what that will look like, God. We pray that you would just come in our hearts and you would just replenish whatever it is that we are missing, God, so we can pour from a cup that is filled and rejuvenated and refreshed. God, we love you, and we pray this in your name. Amen. Thank you so much, friends. Woo! It's my first one. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you, Jen. Thank you, Danielle. Um, tune in on Friday for another morning breath at nine o'clock, and I will see you guys on Sunday. Thank you. Take care. Bye.